Hi guys, Fresh and Quill here. So it's Saturday. I'm doing my usual update here for the figures that I've been painting and what's been going on. And at the end of the video, I'll be doing my response, the video response to the 500 subs question posted by Black Country Wargaming. So um, basically, <laughs> always read the instructions of the question. Um, I did reply to that, but then I didn't realise that he'd actually stated there had to be a video reply. Um, but I'll go into a bit of that a bit more detail in a few seconds. So what have I been up to? Well, more painting of the Drop Zone Commander. So I've based up the rotary cannons here. Um, these aren't Hawk War games. These are G. Is it GMC? I think it is. Does the models for Full Frost? Um, so basically, what I'm doing is I'm using these cannons here for um, flat teams. Um, the um, Legionnaire flak teams, which are used by the infantry as a form of um, replacing the actual model. Uh, yeah, so it's GZ, GZG, Ground Zero Games, that make these. Um, and then we've got a couple of um, Pendraken figures dotted around as well. Um, so yeah, so basically these are anti-air cannon for my army. Um, I'm going for like a theme of... Uh, uh, well, the, uh, if you followed the story, there's a, a ship in space, it's um, the, the Goblin, and it's taking hits and it's it's crashing, um, a bit like sort of the start of Halo, the Pillar of Autumn, as it's crashing these people are, are debunking from the air, from the thing, from the vehicle. So part of that is this building here, which is going to be their main HQ. Let's get rid of the bits and bobs off it. So this is going to be like their main HQ. So this is going to be a hospital. And this is where they've landed. Um, so you'll see there's any air up there on the roof. And then the, you saw these last time. These are the uh, laser destroyer things. So they'll be there. So I'm just painting that up at this minute. I've dumped the idea of the um, story just because it was taking too much time. And it was not coming out how I wanted. So, um, but yes. So, back in again yeah. so I've also been working on the infantry so I've got six bases bog standard Ooh, United Colonies of Man um, Legionnaires so these are just your basic soldiers um, the miniatures are from all sorts of different ranges Let me zoom in all sorts of different ranges so this is Pendrak and uh, Sci-Fi in Reckon World War Two, that's a Hawk Ooh. Hawk War Games miniature there with a bazooka, of a Hawk there. This is a Pendraken bazooka guy that I've shaved down the bazooka into some sort of like um, shotgun. So yeah, that's basic infantry down there, and they've got a blue team. And a, a red team and a, and, a, and a green team, so that I can tell them apart on the board. Move them out of the way. I've finished the. Oh, hang on, let's put them down, then I'll zoom out so you can see them. I've finished the two dropships here for the laser destroyers. Just put the transfers on them, so I'm waiting for them to dry to give them another layer of varnish. And I've done the bases for them, as you can see. And then what else have I been doing? Oh, I painted up. And they're quite hardy. Uh, I painted up and then just dropped um, two mortar teams for the legionnaires. So these are Hawk War Games miniatures, these are little pairs of mortars. And 
they're not fancy paint jobs, they're quick paint jobs to be honest there. So it's just block colours, wash, done. Uh, what else have I done? So I've painted up, oh, I've, so basically the laser destroyers came with um, the other variant of the weapon, which is a howitzer. And I had nothing to do with them. So I built up these um, like fixed defence uh, cannon which I'm going to use in the game um, as just like little artillery pieces and then two bare APCs I built them, um, as you can see I put them on bases they're vehicles that don't really need to be on bases but that means that I'll be able to put magnets on the bottom and then I'll be able to put them in my uh, very useful box so yeah, so that's what I've been doing with my drop zone, um, which is all part of Nick's New Year painting challenge, as well as me just wanting to get the entire, or my entire collection of drop zone that I've got painted uh, and ready. Um, so that's that. What is, else is going on um, in this video? As I said, is Black Country Wargaming did the 500 sub giveaway. He's giving away a very generous amount of Primaris Space Marines, and um, I'll put a link to that video in the description. But um, basically, if you asked him a question for a Q and A, you got one entry into his um, thing, and if you were to do a video response on something to do with the history of where you're from, then you would get another four entries. As I said originally, I thought, <laughs> oh, that's easy. Type, 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 and um, that was my response. Whereas actually, it said you had to do a video response. So that this is my video response. I hope that you accept this being on the end of a video and not being a separate video of its own uh, being. So, although I was born Colchester in Essex in the UK, for those of you who are outside the UK, um, which is a place with a lot of history and a lot going on. Obviously, you know, that's where Boudicca um, famously went and sacked the Romans. Um, if you go there, there's a Roman castle, which has got Norman Castle built on top of it. It's got a long military history. You know, it's one of the army camps is in Colchester. Um, and let's not even start to get down the history of the, the old white stiletto and handbag route uh, that yeah, this place has. Um, and it's got a nice zoo there, well, I would recommend the zoo, but um, I thought that was a bit too easy to do that, because obviously that's a well-known place with well-known history, it'd be like doing London or um, Washington. So, one, when I was young, my parents moved to Lovestoft in Suffolk, which is uh, does have the honour of being the most easterly point in mainland Great Britain. So um, if you go down to the go down to the seafront, there's actually a plaque and a, a place you can stand, and then you are the, the furthest east in the UK that you can ever get without getting wet. So um, that's sort of one thing to hold it. But I was watching a series called um, Homefront Heroes. I think it was a BBC series, and it was to do with the Second World War, part of the centenary, and that sort of thing. Because obviously now that they're looking towards what happened during World War Two, whereas the last four years have been about the remembrance of World War One, and it was a bit like one of those "Who do you think you are?" famous people go see who their family members were, etc., etc. And um, one of the people they had on there was Alfie Bow, who, if you don't know who Alfie Bow is, he's a British tenor. He's got a massive voice. He's been in a lot of things. He was in Les Mis, in Les, uh, Les Miserables playing uh, Jean Valjean, um, obviously the most famous uh, part from the, from that musical. Um, and he's somebody, I've got a couple of his albums, I very much like his voice, so I thought, oh, I'll watch this show, he's on it, I like this guy. Bam. He comes from a, from a little fishing village somewhere in the north of the UK, and then he is exploring what happened with his family, and one of his uncles ended up being in the Royal Naval Patrol Service. I'll get back to how this comes to you in a second. Now, the Royal Naval Patrol Service, um, I'm getting this off Wikipedia, by the way, 
uh, was a branch of the Royal Navy that was active during both World Wars um, and operated auxiliary vessels such as naval trawlers um, so, uh, for anti-submarines and minesweeping. So those of you who have just picked up Cruel Seas will know about the armoured trawlers, the converted merchant vessels, um, and they were in the Royal Naval Patrol Service. So, um, what I didn't realise, despite living there and having been to this place several times, is that the uh, RNPS was actually based out of Lowestoft. Um, it was based in a place which is now called Sparrow's Nest, and from that, that is where they ran the service. Um, as I said, I've been there several times. I have been past, I'm not sure if this is going to show up. Oh, because I'm using the iPad. No, oh, hang up, wrong button. Hey guys, bear with me. Here we go. I have been past this so many times in my life. And that is the National War Memorial to the people that served in the patrol service. Um, as I said, it was based out of a place called Sparrow's Nest. Um, so yes, that's part of history. I mean, the, the Lovestoff has a long history as being a fishing port and um, being involved with with the fishing trade way back to like the Victorian period. It was in the Doomsday Book. Yeah, so it's a well-established town, um, but it, it, you know, obviously, it played a part in in the war in running this system. I mean, I, I've seen the pillboxes and stuff, but so yeah, that's the history there, really. Um, there's probably a lot more history I could do. Um, and if you obviously, you know, if you don't want to look more more up about that service, then I will put. A link to the Wikipedia down here in the description. Um, on that note, closing by the way, I have the Cruel Seas Free Sprue um, from Warlord Games. Um, yeah, do you think I should use it with my drop zone, or do you think I should maybe look at doing something else with it? Um, put your comments down below um, we'll to see if you really got this far in the video to be honest I'm waffling on now um, if I go over 15 minutes then YouTube won't let me upload because it's being stupid and won't let me register as a as a person um, I've been discovered as a robot oh dear no sorry I'm joking um, yeah so I'm going to go now because I'm waffling and I'm going around in circles and I will see you guys in the next video Hopefully that's going to be quite soon because I'm hoping to get a lot more painted up over a long weekend I've got myself booked off for and then I can uh, show you guys because this drop zone doesn't take long at all. Okay, have a good one.